how personal is it? Because we talked at the beginning of the year about did they lose Lemon's phone number? But did they not Shh. see the sacks last year? And that's the the entire league. I thought if we even want to go back further, I thought you were going to end your career as an Argo down the city. Yeah. You're going to be the the man to help bring the the buzz back and you you, you know, bring consistent football back. Had you out here getting cuts at fitting room. People saw you all over the town. <laughs> I thought that was going to be your city. You've bounced around since. But now it seems like you're loved in in Montreal. What was it like for you when it's like, I, I know I can put my hand in the dirt and get after the well, passer. That's, that's the on tape. The thing is, is like, I can't control that. I can't control what another person thinks about me. Everybody has the right to their own opinion. I'm not entitled to anything. Only thing I can control is the work that I put in the off season. And I know there's not another defensive end in the league that trains harder than me in the off season. And my product on the field, I'm going to produce anywhere. You put me anywhere. You put me in a jungle with 70 animals, I'm probably going to sack 50 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, That's just how I feel. That's crazy, That's just man. how I feel. Hey, you got to have confidence. This guy, he, he, when you when'd you write that one down, man? man? We just, it's just top of the Always dome. coming with the sound bites, man. <laughs> no, I ain't mad no, at you, though. He's, because he's... <laughs> I don't know if you know about him. He's a social media influencer. Come on, oh, man. No, no, so, no, so no, no, So he's, no, no, he's thinking no. of, like, the the it's headline on IG. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. He <laughs> wants no. to show Sean Lemon, page. put right. me in the jungle, 70 have, animals, I'm going to sack 50 of them. <laughs> and people would be like, what? Uh, but but They're going to listen to the show, though. That, that's right. <laughs> he, he knows, right? <laughs> but mm. I'll, I'll allow you to be his hype man, though. Mm. What oh, do man. people not know about him that – Either they're finding out or they should know as to why he should be the first phone call. For me, for me, when it was, when, when the thought came up to like, what do you think about Sankey? I would love to have him. He's the type of guy that gets excited for the average tackle. There's not a lot of linebackers in this league who wants to play old school, run a zone, I'm taking your face off. <laughs> that's what that's what he lives mm -hmm. for. And, you know, he's, a, he's just a junkie. We, I knew we needed a – a leader at that position, and when he was available, he fits. Go back and look at Coach Thorpe's past defenses, the type of linebackers he's had. I'm old enough to know that type of linebackers he's had. And you need a soul snatcher. And that's the number one soul snatcher right there in the league, right now, linebacker, my opinion. So. <laughs> nah, these ain't, these ain't, you, you definitely a baller. And uh, I appreciate the compliment because Coach Thorpe yeah, once yeah, called exactly. me as he well in there. the past, you know, Sham you know, and all the guys. But he, he he always has a really good defense where he needs that anchor in the middle. What's it been like for you, though, coming in, you know, um, midway through the season and, yeah. and trying to find your <clears throat> space, find your place with the guys and, and establish that physicality that you bring to the game and that leadership that you bring to the game? What was it like? you know, getting into Montreal? Man, you know, I'm just, uh, you know, extremely blessed, man, and thankful uh, just for an opportunity, really, you know, to come up here again and uh, just showcase what I could do, you know. And like Lance said, he gave me a call, um, <clears throat> Fajardo, a couple of other guys I knew. And, um, you know, I just I just feel like one of the main things that you need is, uh, especially at the mic position, is to be respected, you know. And I feel like um, when I came in, uh, I, I had knew some guys already, and they kind of vouched for me, and they gave me that respect, you know. So it's like I didn't really have a, a real issue, um, like, meshing, I think, with the guys because uh, I think, you know, I've been up here a couple years, and I produced already, mm -hmm. and then I just won a ring in the XFL and had some NFL experience. So it's like, you know, I'm humble, but, I mean, you got to respect it uh, somewhat, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm grateful. And uh, you know, I'm just I'm just happy, man. So, but we need you to keep it real because you're giving us that sweet talk <laughs> with the R&B voice. But <laughs> what's up, man? <laughs> you came in. Yeah, what's up, man? With the no sway. He's, de he's yeah. definitely an R&B dude. Off <laughs> the field. He's an uh, what's up? But but on the field, it's trap. Like yeah. you came in not tiptoeing around, loud, boisterous, leading from jump. Yeah. Where's that come from? Where, no matter who I'm with. I, I got yeah. you. Follow me. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it just comes from where I'm from, kind of how I grew up. I feel like I always grew up uh, kind of overlooked. You know, one scholarship out of high school, um, you know, small school, uh, Sac State gave me an opportunity. Never heard um, of it. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. 
You know, that's what, that's what a lot of people man, say. Go look at their record back, right now. Man, go look at their record back. right now. Man, Sacramento State, you. you know, uh, went undrafted. Um, I felt like I should have been drafted, went undrafted, uh, kind of got bounced around the league. So when I came up here, I just really just wanted to just just take out wrath, to be honest, you know. And uh, it, I just I feel like I've always had kind of that mentality that it's, it's me or you, and it's not going to be me. So, you know what I noticed about this team? Talk to me. <laughs> they – they not only do they keep receipts, they print them. Yeah. They ask yeah. you to email them as well. We they go there, home. Yeah. They put them in a couple, file folder. There was a receipts. Yeah, um, <laughs> there was a last week. What, what, what happened, happened last week? Last week. Oh, there's no way Montreal wins this game. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> oh, Who man. said that? <laughs> there's no way. Listen, <laughs> I did. I, I, yeah. I did say that. I did say that. And don't worry, uh, people have come at me in the comments <laughs> about it. So I'm, I'm, I'm fully aware. But listen, man. I'll tell you why I didn't believe. Because I looked at the team throughout and I was like, well, they're all right, but they're not real. When you look at playing against BC, playing against Winnipeg, playing I mean, against Toronto, we ain't have they didn't have any losses. Wait, wait, wait. You, 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 you got, your, you, you got <laughs> one. So what, what did I miss? What did I miss in terms of the body of work where I said they don't got a shot, but obviously you did? Let me tell you what I knew we had a shot. Mm. Sankey's first game, he played against Toronto. He didn't practice all week. He had a great game. He didn't really know the signals, the calls. They were coming in late. But we steady just got better from that point. You know, and that was a game we should have won. And that game hurt so much. Everyone in the locker room after the game, make you look around the locker room, you can see how much that game hurt. Because we feel like we should have won that game. Yep. And from there, we just vowed to give everything you got. And we just want to continuously get better. And it wasn't like guys holding each other accountable. That's when constructive criticism didn't become personal in the locker room. Like, no, nah, I need you to do better than that. No, I got to do better than that. That's on me. Guys were, they weren't just saying it. They were going out there and doing it. So we just steady, just got better, just get better and better. And I think it comes from you bringing a guy in like that. And, you know, so I just knew we were getting better. I knew we had them right where we want them. And they kept winning games, but they were playing bad football. So I felt like, you know, when you're winning, you don't address the small issues. So I wanted them to keep winning all those games. That game they won against Sass, I was so happy they won against it. Because you're not going to look at the little things, the small details that losses bring out. So that's how I feel about it. So that's why I knew we had them right where we wanted them. Yeah. Well, my bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all but, good. But, Apology, it's huh? all good. It's all good. But you you put it on on paper. You, you told us at CFL. I, was, yeah, I ain't doing nothing crazy like you that. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna run the table <laughs> and, said, and we're going to win what? the Grey Cup. I, I keep my that. thoughts yeah, to myself. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we're going to get to you. I'm go ahead, D. I didn't want to keep it to myself because I wanted to make it known um, as one of the leaders on the defense that uh, my mentality, like you said, you know, I'm not a loser. You know, I'm a winner. So if you don't want to win, then either I don't belong here or you don't belong here. Cause I'm a winner, but I'm so, always follow up. I got his back. You know that's what I'm saying. So it's like, <laughs> but I'm not gonna come out. You know, no. oh, it is on. what it is. I said what I said, and I stood on it, and this that's it. So I, I didn't. I mean, I just. But even even more so, like, I don't think it's such an outlandish thing to say. Do you think you're gonna? Yeah, I think we're gonna win. What do you want me to say? Nah, you know what? Nah, we're gonna lose. What? Nah, we're gonna win, and that's it. Mm-hmm. So if you look at your Leader on the defense, and he and you don't like, dang, you know what? He's saying we're going to win. Okay, now I got to go out and do it. So yeah. it is what it is, you know? I mean, you should say you're going to win, but you said every single game, which is a little and crazy, won- but you have. So I can't <laughs> even say anything about it. You over there Uh-oh. sitting there talking about <laughs> I, do. I don't say anything. What did you say before the Hamilton game? Yeah, you remember. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I you remember. Moment. So that you did say re- stuff. So the thing oh, no. is, yeah, no, he, no, 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 no. We, we all equal. I'm, so I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna give you a chance because we we don't know what we're talking about, right? Because I also, you know, like DB was saying, was saying obviously the Toronto Argus is gonna win. Sunday's coming, the biggest game. We're not even gonna make predictions. Tell us why. I'm assuming you're gonna go with your squad. Why? Why are you gonna win? And what is going to happen? We're oh. gonna play physical. We're gonna play fast, and we're gonna out hit you. That's just what it is. We're gonna out hit you. That's just what it is. That's just what this defense and this team is DNA is. You said we're gonna play or we're gonna win. I, I didn't hear it properly. My mic, my, my headphones. We definitely gonna win. We oh. definitely gonna win. I'm not I'm never backing down from there that. There we go. Come on. Never man. backing down from yeah. that. We're gonna win. We listen, you gotta score to win. Two guys up here, we're gonna stop you from scoring. That's what it is.